philosophy, you will never see another. It's more like principles, isn't it, Tim? But this is after 30 plus years of uh, making mistakes. And this is also stealing um, a few ideas from the Natural Resource Conservation Service. New soil health initiative uh, has the first four, which excites me to no end. And then the last two, you know, are kind of more, less universally accepted recipe. Diversify soil food, uh, the soil food web, Ernie's biology by crop diversity. Have you guys heard about diversity at all here? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Disturb the soil as little as possible. Grow a living root year round. That sounds really simple. And of course, for you guys, it's, it is the, the most important part of your designs. But it's, I'm, as I'm going to show you, it's a lot harder for some people to figure out than, than you would think. And, and I have some really creative examples later. Keep the soil covered. Add organic residues regularly. Grow your carbon source where you are. Remember above and below ground diversity too. Disturb the soil as little as possible. Here are strip-till grain production in uh, Oregon. Underneath there is some corn and black beans. It's trying to come up through all that mulch. So trying to reduce till tillage. Feed the rhizosphere. Avoid bare soil. So tillage, avoid tillage. There are reasons actually that people till. So the bad news is I had a 60 year old pasture and I wanted to um, move my production after uh, 12 years to this place where I could do experiment with no till and minimum till. So I tilled part of the pasture and I left part of the pasture untilled. This was two weeks after we dropped in two weeks just with tilling. What happened? This is why people have tilled for a hundred years. Look what happened to that nitrogen that makes plants grow really fast. It doubled in two weeks. So, so there's a reason. Tillage releases nutrients, but it's releasing from the bank account and so let's avoid it. All right, add organic residues regularly. That means rather than that big Thanksgiving dinner that makes us all a little tired, throughout the year, throughout regularly, chop and drop, not all at once, and then grow your carbon source or find it locally. So we always say it depends. Now we're gonna put it depends on. So you need to know your soil type. We talked about that yesterday, right? You need to know your nutrient levels at s uh, in a general thing. You don't have to do a soil test. I do because I'm a control freak. But you could just look at your plants and find out what's growing there. You, you know, you could figure it out without doing a soil test too. Texture, pH, what kind of precip do you get? What are your temperatures? That's going to depend and we're going to talk about it now on what residues might be best for your situation most importantly it depends on what you want to do are you a homesteader are you trying to grow a diet are you trying to grow a farm a little farm just to you know make a little extra money are you trying to make your entire income 